A small businessman says uh, he's not very happy with his recent electric bill. Uh, that's because the total of it, more than $4,000, when it really should have been less than about 200 bucks. He contacted 300 Sides' Gary Harper for help. This viewer says he's been battling back and forth with APS for a while now. Says he's getting nowhere. He thinks there's something wrong with his meter. Turns out he's right. It's 1,200 square feet. We've got a couple offices, computer room, nice reception and working area. And a Ron Maseko is a tax accountant who recently moved his small business into this new location just off of 35th Avenue and Greenway. Oh, it, it, it was perfect. We got to get it built out. The landlord's a nice guy. It's only a little over a mile from my home. And with tax season starting to get busy, Ron and his employees quickly got to work. But Ron says business almost came to a screeching halt when he got not one, not two, but three huge electric bills from APS for three months of usage that APS failed to bill from October through December. I got three bills all dated the same day, which kind of threw me. Why do you have three bills for the same day for the same address? And check out the amount of those bills. One is for more than 3100 bucks. A second APS bill has a balance of $4,600, and a third bill is for just over $1,600. Here's another aggravating issue. Ron says every time he gets a crazy bill from APS, it says we were unable to read your meter. That's strange because here's his meter right here, and it's very accessible to three on your side. Ron says it didn't make any sense. Why didn't APS read his meters? And why is he just now getting incredibly high bills for different amounts? Concerned that his power would be shut off, Ron went ahead and paid the lowest bill that APS had sent him, which was just over $1,600. I don't know what to say. Uh, it's just, I don't, I'm fairly easygoing most of the time. And, and I don't know where else to go. Three on your side got involved and APS looked into the issue for us. A spokesperson says APS discovered that Ron's meter was corrupt or faulty and was not sending back proper readings. That's why Ron's bills kept saying we were unable to read your meter. As a result, APS repaired Ron's meter and after auditing his account, APS is now sending him a check for around $1,100, which is the overpayment from that $1,600 that he already mailed in. Ron says he owes it all to three on your side. It was a very good thing. <laughs> it got the, got the problem resolved, got us into our busy season, which is this week. So that was like perfect timing also. We got the news last Thursday and we're working around the clock now. Hey, a big thank you to APS. They were great to work with, and I certainly appreciate that $1,100 refund. Now, if you have a problem you can't resolve, maybe the three in your side team can. Just go to our website, azfamily.com, and write us an email. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.